y'all it's young rick welcome to west side level and today we're back at it with our lesson on keyboard bus eq all right now why are we giving eq to our keyboard bus we've given it compression and just like our drums our compression the the number one thing a compression is going to attack is the dynamics or the transients of a sound so you got to realize with this keyboard bus it had our bass it had our keyboard chord progression it had some arpeggios in there and all of those were set at different levels the synth bass being the highest so the synth bass is what's going to be being eaten at the most because of that compression that we did with our LA2 compressor. So how can we bring back the dynamics that's being eaten at our balance? This comes in, this is where EQ comes in. All right, so what do I want to do with this EQ first? First, let's go ahead and give it a play and just hear how, um, hear what has to be done real quick so this is what we're working with okay it's not bad but there's definitely uh there's definitely dynamics we can bring back so the first thing I want to think about in terms of dynamics is I want to bring that chord progression and those arpeggios back uh, in our melody so what I'm gonna do to target that is I'm gonna focus my attention on this yellow band which is our air band and this uh, blue band right here on our upper right corner this is gonna allow us to pick the frequency for our air band and because we're dealing with a chord progression and uh, bass lines and all of these things, I know that the frequencies aren't way high up in there, up into the 10Ks and everything. So I'm just going to stick with 5K for our air band, and then I'm going to give it a real big boost. We're going to go for about 4 dB. So let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. All right, so I noticed when I did that, that definitely brought the tone of our lead, uh, our lead synth, our synth lead out so much more. So I'm gonna go ahead and bypass the EQ and I want you to listen to this lead synth. This is before our EQ. This is after our EQ. Now that's sounding great, <clears throat> but because we given it, because we gave it such a big boost um, in that air frequency of 4 dB, we're gonna have to compensate with the rest of this EQ to make sure that this our drum bus, I'm not our drum bus, but our keyboard bus, is tonally balanced. So it's keyboard sounds and it's bass sounds. So I know I'm not gonna really be using. Our, we're, we're not gonna really need sub out of here and we're not going to really need this this low um uh low bass sound we want to want we're going to focus more on our mids so i'm going to look at these green knob which is our uh low mids our red knob which is our mids and then our orange knob which is our high mids and we're going to play with that i'm going to start off by giving our high mids a 2 db boost and we're going to hear how that sounds All right, so what I'm hearing when I gave that 2 dB boost uh, at 2.5K is the lead sound. Again, I'm hearing that synth lead pop out a lot more 
when I'm doing these booths. So let's go ahead and hear before. Okay, now here's after um, the, uh, our EQ. And what I'm also hearing too, I just noticed it, is <clears throat> the higher tones of that synth bass is starting to come out the more we push those high mids. And I'm actually liking the way that sounds. But okay, so remember we boost, we boosted 4 dB with that uh, air band and we only boosted 2 dB with the mid band. So we still have some uh, more compensating to do with this EQ. Now we have a synth bass in this keyboard bus. So let's hear how it sounds if we boost a little bit at 160 Hertz and give it some of that bass range. All right, so I'm not hearing much of a difference at 160 hertz, so I'm going to go ahead only and leave it at just a, a 0.5 uh, dB boost. Now, let's go ahead and hear how it's going to sound when we boost at 650 hertz. Let's see if we can get some more of that bass tone out. That's kind of what we're aiming for right now. Okay, so I'm really liking what that 60, uh, 650 hertz is doing to the bass, so since bass, so I'm going, to, I went ahead and boosted it by 1.5 dB. So let's see if we can get a little bit more out of that 160 hertz. All right, I'm really not liking how that 160 sounds, so I'm really gonna go ahead and leave that alone. Let's see if we can get more out of that 2.5 Hertz. All right, now that I boosted at that one, uh, that 2.5, I'm really liking the way the top of our keyboard bus sounds. I just kind of want to get some more bass out of it. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna play with that 160 hertz a little bit more and see if I can do something with it. If not, we're gonna figure something out to go. So let's see if, if a, just a 0.5 dB boost at 160 does the trick. Okay, and for me, that actually definitely did the trick. The, uh, the keyboard bus now is sounding tonally balanced, but uh, just to hear what we did before we gain stage it, let's go ahead and give a before and after. So this is before we added our EQ to our keyboard bus.
Okay, and this is after we've added EQ to our keyboard bus. I just wanted to give you guys a before and after before we gain stage so you could really get a good listen of the EQ. So now uh, the last thing I'm going to go ahead and do is gain stage it so then we can do a real before and after. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so um, our keyboard bus before EQ was sitting at e, uh, 18 dB, so I went went ahead and leveled it down. So now that we have everything gain staged, let's hear how everything sounded before we EQ'd it. This is before our keyboard bus EQ. Okay, this is after our keyboard bus EQ. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and out so you can hear uh, the difference uh, without me stopping. Okay, and so you'll notice that once we added EQ, I want you to go ahead and give a listen back after I explain this. Not only did we boost the frequencies uh, in our mids and in our, our highs and gave those a lot of color, but because we boosted in those areas, it actually made the drums, it, it left uh, kind of squeaky like shifted the energy of our keyboards out of that low end range and it made the drums pop out a little bit more so go ahead and give it a listen back and listen for those as a matter of fact i'll actually play it so this is uh listen for those drums this is before we added our eq This is after we added our keyboard bus EQ. And remember, listen for those drums. <coughs> Damn. All right, and that was the tutorial for today. So, um,. The next lesson we get back on, we're gonna go ahead, because we just finished our keyboard bus, we're gonna now do mix bus processing over the whole mix. So we're gonna start with our mix bus compression. All right, <clears throat> like always, thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all niggas be smooth. This is West Side Level. I'm Young Rick. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Gone.